It's not the good of farmers are having to spend very little on drying costs for grain this year, which is welcome compared to 2019. Part of the reason is corn and soybeans were planted early and finished early, so they dried in the field. The crop came to maturity on its own, you know, was pushed along with the dry weather that we had, you know, towards the tail end, you know, so that helped, you know, dry the crop down to start with. The early harvest weather also aided with the mechanical process of grain drying. It was warm temperatures. It doesn't take much, as much propane to dry when it's warm out as it does when, you know, it's below 32 degrees. So Thompson, who even had to dry soybeans last year, used less propane, which lowered drying costs. I'm sure I saved, you know, probably a couple of thousand, two, three thousand over last year. You know, the gas prices, prices themselves, well, the propane was, was quite low. And that helps improve his bottom line. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by South Dakota Soybean Farmers in their soybean checkoff.